Uh, hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. So in this video I want to show you how to use uh, view pager 2 with uh, navigation component. So we're going to create uh, onboarding screens for uh, our application and basically onboarding screens are uh, shown only the first time when the user runs the application. So uh, let's create, create a new fragment here first and uh, this fragment will represent a splash screen. So let's name this uh, fragment uh, splash fragment. Click finish. Okay, and from here uh, we're going to remove basically everything because we don't need that. We just we're going to just leave this uh, on create uh, view method. Okay, and that's fine. So now let's change the uh, splash fragment layout. Uh, let's first delete this text view, and I'm going to add a background uh, attribute, and I'm going to link uh, a background for this splash screen, which I have uh, already added. And as you can see, this is how our splash screen splash screen will look like. So now inside our uh, main activity, uh, we want to, okay, so first let's create a navigation graph, okay? And uh, let's name this navigation graph my nav. And Android Studio will prompt you to add the navigation component dependency, just click uh, yes. Okay, and now click this uh, new destination button and let's add this uh, splash fragment here inside our navigation graph. Okay, so our splash uh, fragment will uh, be the default and start destination. So let's add the nav host fragment to our activity main layout. And as you can see, our splash fragment is shown here because it is a start destination. So uh, that's fine. Let's run our application just to see how we'll uh, look like. Okay, so we just want to remove this uh, action bar. So in main activity, just use uh, support action bar dot uh, hide and uh, that will uh, hide the action bar. Okay, so now that's fine. And uh, the next thing, uh, we want to create a new package uh, and we're going to name this package uh, onboarding, okay? So in this package, first we want to create a view pager fragment which will hold our view pager, okay? So let's select a blank fragment, okay? Let's rename this to a view pager fragment. So this view pager fragment uh, will contain only a view pager. So first let's remove uh, everything from our view pager fragment. We don't need uh, any of those codes. We are going to just leave the onCreate method as before. So uh, let's uh, open up here and let's change the root layout to constraint layout. Let's remove this default text view and uh, let's search for a view pager here. So Android Studio will uh, automatically prompt you to add a dependency for you. Just click OK and uh, everything will be added for you. So let's select this uh, view pager and let's uh, connect those constraints vertically and uh, horizontally as well. So this view pager will have the width and height to match the parent. OK, so that's fine. And next, uh, we're going to create uh, another class, uh, which will be named the uh, view pager adapter. So this will be class for uh, our view pager. And let's, uh, okay, let's extend this class with uh, fragment state pager, sorry, uh, fragment state adapter, and just click Alt plus enter to uh, import this uh, class. And we need to pass two arguments here. So the first argument is uh, fragment uh, manager. And the second one is a life cycle. Okay, so let's pass those two arguments here. And we need to implement uh, two methods, two override two methods. So get item count and create fragment. So let's uh, uh, reformat the code just a little bit. Okay, and we need to add the one more argument, uh, which will be array list. And this array list will hold uh, fragments. So those fragments will be actually our onboarding screens. And let's here create this uh, fragment list uh, variable. Okay, and here we're going to return the fragment list size. And in create fragment, we want to return a fragment list position. So we're going to return this position dynamically, okay? And that's basically it for our uh, view pager 2 uh, adapter. Uh, so in the view pager fragment now, uh, we're going to just store this inflator in a view variable and we're going to return this view. So next, uh, we're going to create a fragment list, which will be basically array list of fragments. And here we want to uh, basically pass our fragments. So first let's create them. And to do that, let's create a new package so we can organize this code uh, just a little bit. So let's uh, name these screens. And inside this package, we want to create three fragments, which will represent uh, three screens for our uh, onboarding uh, uh, navigation. Okay, so let's basically remove uh, everything from this fragment. We don't need that. We're going to just leave this uh, on create view method. Okay, and uh, I'm going to speed up uh, this video just a little bit so I can create those uh, uh, those uh, two more uh, screens for onboarding. And I can uh, just uh, change the layout a little bit. So let me just close uh, everything from here. And basically uh, each our um, 
onboarding screen will contain the image view, will contain a title and uh, description of course, so description will be some uh, lower and ipsum text and we're going to also have a button or a text view which will represent a button and it will say uh, next so we can navigate to our next uh, uh, onboarding screen okay something like that so all this uh, project will be available for you to download in the video description don't worry and next I'm going to create a second screen for our onboarding I'm going to just copy this uh, layout from the previous screen and I'm going to just change the image view uh, and the title uh, next the third screen okay I'm going to just copy this uh, from the previous and just change the image view uh, the title okay all right so we have uh, created those three screens for our onboarding so let's open up a view pager fragment and here inside this fragment list which we created earlier we're going to pass those three screens so first screen second screen okay so uh, I forgot to name this uh, second uh, screen properly so I'm going to rename that so refactor and rename and let's name that uh, second screen click refactor okay and now let's pass this second screen and the third screen as well so this fragment list will contain basically the three fragments which will uh, represent our onboarding okay so down below we want we want to create uh, adapter variable and we want to initialize view pager adapter and we need to pass three uh, parameters here so the first parameter is fragment list the second one is a uh, uh, support fragment manager and the third one is a life cycle okay so next let's use this um, okay so we forgot to add uh, the id for a view pager so we need to add that uh, now and now inside our view pager fragment we can uh, reference this uh, view pager through the view and we need to set the adapter to our newly created adapter so inside the navigation graph we need to add uh, uh, we need to add this uh, fragment view pager and we need to connect splash fragment to our uh, view pager fragment here all right so this view pager fragment will contain uh, three screens uh, which we created earlier for our onboarding and inside this splash fragment I just want to create a logic which uh, will basically uh, navigate our user from this splash fragment to the uh, view pager fragment so I'm going to use a handler and its method uh, post delay so basically uh, we want to navigate our user to this uh, view pager fragment after a few seconds and let's say three seconds for example so let's run our application to see how will that work as you can see after three seconds we are uh, navigated to this uh, view pager fragment and we can scroll those uh, onboarding screens so we got an error and uh, I think I know why so um, earlier uh, when I imported uh, those uh, vector images for our uh, onboarding screens I got an error so uh, our uh, uh, third uh, image view is uh, problematic so I'm going to replace this uh, uh, third image view with a second image view so let's open up our uh, fragment third screen and I'm going to replace this image view with the image view from our uh, second screen instead okay because this uh, vector was uh, corrupted that's why we got the error so let's run our application again and everything should work fine so we can scroll through our onboarding screens easily as you can see everything works fine we just have the same image on our second and the third screen but that's not important and we want to change the uh, the text view to finish on our uh, third uh, screen so let's run out this app again okay after three seconds we should be navigated to this uh, view pager fragment so next next and we have a finish on our third screen okay and later we will implement the logic uh, for all of this so uh, first uh, inside the first screen we want to set this inflator to a view variable and we want to return this view and then we want to create an on click listener for this uh, next uh, text view okay so let's add this uh, on click listener and here uh, what we want to do we want to reference our uh, view pager from the activity so uh, that's why we need to add activity to find view by id and here uh, okay let's pass uh, view pager uh, actually this uh, this uh, should say uh, view pager 2 instead of the view pager so be careful uh, so view pager dot uh, current item so when we click on our next uh, text view we want to navigate our uh, uh, user from the first screen to the second screen so the number one is actually the second screen because uh, the screens uh, start from zero so as you can see when we click next uh, we can see this uh, second screen and uh, that works fine okay so let's copy this code to our second screen as well so we want to add uh, basically on click listener for our second uh, next uh, text view okay 
just return the, this view and uh, in the middle just paste the code so just change the id so uh, next to because that's the id from uh, our text view on the second screen and uh, change the current item to number two because that's actually a third screen so let's run our app to see if that will work so click next and next and it works okay and uh, for the finish uh, text view we want to implement a different logic okay so let's uh, again uh, set this uh, inflator inside the view variable and let's return this view and uh, in the middle instead of uh, this view pager and instead of this next i'm going to use a finish which is the id of the third uh, text view which has the name of uh, finish and let's remove this uh, view pager so instead uh, let's first uh, create a new destination here and let's create a home fragment so uh, after user clicks finish uh, we should navigate our user to home fragment okay and let's connect this view pager with uh, home fragment and we're going to connect uh, later this splash fragment to our uh, home fragment but not for now we're going to do that later okay and uh, here inside this third screen we want to add the uh, find view uh, fan, uh, find the nav controller and we want to navigate uh, from our uh, view pager fragment to our home fragment okay okay so uh, next we want to create a function so basically uh, we want to use a shared preferences object to save the value and let's name this uh, function to onboarding finished so i'm going to use a live template for the shared preferences if you can't watch my tutorial about live template i highly suggest you to do that so uh, here I'm going to pass the name for our shared preferences file to onboarding and instead of string I want to use a put boolean so the name of this uh, should be finished and the value should be set to true okay so when our user clicks uh, finish text view we should call this uh, method here and we want to save this uh, uh, value finished to true inside our onboarding shared preferences file and uh, now inside our splash fragment uh, every time a user uh, uh, runs the app uh, inside a splash fragment we want to check if this value is true and if it's true then uh, we want to navigate our user not to view pager fragment but to home fragment instead so let's create uh, this onboarding finish method here again let's use this uh, live template okay and uh, this time we are not going to uh, save uh, shared preferences uh, this time we're going to just read the file so let's remove those uh, last three lines of code and here uh, we want to return a boolean so first let's add a boolean as a return type here and uh, now let's return uh, shared pref dot get the boolean uh, set the name of our uh, um, uh, key which is finished and the uh, default value let's set to false okay so uh, every time a user um, launches the application in a splash fragment we want to check if this uh, finished um, uh, value is uh, true or, or if it's a false so when the user first time runs the application the uh, the value will be false okay so let's just uh, copy this uh, uh, code uh, to above if block as well so we're going to replace this first action uh, with uh, the new action but first we need to create a new action inside our navigation graph so let's go to this nav graph and let's connect the splash fragment to a home fragment okay and now we will be able to see this uh, action so uh, let's go to our splash fragment and basically if onboarding finished is true then we want to navigate our user not to view pager fragment but to home fragment instead so that means that the user has uh, already clicked the finish button and the uh, onboarding screens are uh, completed so let's check out if uh, everything works fine okay so after three seconds we are redirected here to view pager fragment and when we click finish we are navigated to this uh, home fragment okay and uh, now let's run the app again to see if uh, now we are going to be able to redirect directly to our home fragment okay so we have an error basically uh, we are the code does not work as expected so i think i know what is the error so we forgot to add the name for our shared preferences uh, file which is onboarding so be sure to uh, type the uh, name correctly so uh, now i think everything should work fine and when we run our application we should be uh, navigated to this home fragment immediately and as you can see it works perfectly fine so onboarding screen is shown only the first time when the user uh, runs the application and uh, that's a good thing so i'm going to just remove this uh, code from our home fragment and i'm going to edit uh, this uh, home fragment layout file I'm going to change this to constraint layout 
and I'm going to basically just add uh, one text view which will say uh, something like uh, home so we can uh, uh, recognize this uh, fragment better. So let's change the text size and the text style and uh, that's it, okay? So uh, let's uh, run our application to see how will that work. So as you can see from splash screen we are navigated to our home uh, fragment. So everything works fine, okay? So uh, when we remove our application and uh, install this application uh, for the first time, you will see that we are going to be uh, redirected to our view pager fragment, which is a good thing, okay? So we go next and finish. And uh, when we run the app again, you will see that uh, we're going to be uh, navigated to our home fragment uh, instead this time, okay? So everything works fine. So uh, there is only one more thing which we should uh, fix now, and that is uh, our um, uh, back button. So as you can see, when I click back, I get uh, redirected to a splash screen, which is a bad thing, and we need to fix that. So even when we uh, uninstall this app and uh, install this app again, so let's check it out. When we go to this onboarding screen, when we go next, next and finish. So when we click back button, we are navigated to this uh, onboarding screen again. So that's a bad thing. So we're going to fix that by going uh, to our um, navigation graph and we're going to select those uh, arrows which represent an action and we want to set the pop up to to splash fragment this time. So basically when we navigate from our splash fragment to a view page of fragment we want to pop our splash fragment from the navigation back stack, okay? And we want to do the same thing for this uh, second arrow. So select this pop up to splash fragment and check this pop up to inclusive to true and this third arrow as well. So this time we're going to select the view pager fragment because we are popping a view pager fragment from our navigation back stack. And uh, now everything should work perfectly fine. So let's test it out again. Let's delete the app again and let's install that uh, one more time. Okay, so splash screen, then we have a onboarding screen and when we click back button, as you can see, uh, our application exits. Okay, and when we go next, next and finish, uh, from our home fragment, when we click back button, we are not going to be able to uh, redirect to our onboarding screens. Instead, our application will exit. So that's it. Uh, everything works fine and uh, as expected here. Uh, thank for watching. Please like this video if you find it helpful, of course. And uh, see you in the next one.